Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the module Creating Multi-Stage Review Processes. This is going to be under the Business Practitioner Persona for Liferay DXP 7.3. Let's go ahead and get started. So we have some key module takeaways here. First of all, custom workflows can be created to define complex review processes. We can model this after real-life hierarchies and chains of events. Staging can be used to make changes to a site without altering its public-facing appearance. This is good so that we can be working on things behind the scenes and then publish them live for our users. Workflows and staging should be used in tandem to ensure optimal quality for site content. We'll take a look at that process at the end. If you're following along with the exercises, we have some prerequisites for you. Make sure to have Java JDK installed to run Life for DXP. You can download that here. When it comes to unzipping your exercise files, make sure that they look like this. On Windows, do C slash Liferay. If you're on a Unix system, you'll do the user home slash Liferay. You also want to have a running instance of Liferay DXP 7.3. To have everything reflect the things that we're going to be showing here, make sure you import the staging dash content lar file. As usual, we're with our Livingston Hotels and Resorts use case. And when it comes to creating content, here's what they're looking at. Content added to the front page for the Livingston Hotels and Resorts corporate site needs to be reviewed by multiple people. This is a large organization. We want to make sure that everything looks professional and clean. Content is time sensitive, thus reviews must be completed quickly. So we must create a new workflow definition that holds each reviewer to a deadline and requires multiple approvals. The key performance indicators for this, we want to decrease the number of errors in released content, as well as reduce the amount of time that content spends in review. And here we are in our first section, Kaleo Workflow Definitions. Liferay is able to support complex workflows. You can either edit, write, or upload XML directly in Liferay. But we also have the Kaleo Designer, which is a little more friendly on the eyes. And you still have the option to switch back and forth to view the XML that you're creating with this drag and drop system. Here we can start to talk about the actual individualized elements in our workflows. We have states, transitions, tasks, and task assignments. States will have the following properties, actions, notifications, descriptions, names, as well as types. Tasks represent the actual tasks that need to be fulfilled in the review process. So maybe in our workflow, we reach a point where we say this needs to be reviewed or it needs to be edited. This is where we would use a task. Task and task assignments are distinct concepts, but used together. Since having a task means that we have an actionable item, we wanna make sure that there's someone assigned to that item. This is where the task assignment comes into play. When a task node is added to the Kaleo designer, you must configure the assignment type. Since we can have a lot of different multi-stage and very complex workflows, we want to make sure that we have all the tools that can meet any use case we run into. Things like forks in the flow itself, reconnecting them with joins, having conditions so we can put some logic into our workflows, as well as task timers that will trigger actions. All right, it's time for our knowledge check. Liferay workflow tools allow for advanced workflow creation. Workflows can be defined to include task timers, conditions, and even script actions. With Kaleo Designer, administrators can design custom workflow definitions. 